from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Monday, August the 28th, 2017. Secretary General of the United Nations Antonio Guterres is in Israel. The UN chief arrived yesterday for a three day visit to the region aimed at kickstarting peace talks between Israel and the Palestinians, which follows a similar visit from the U.S. delegation last week. This is Guterres' first trip to Israel since taking office at the beginning of the year. He met this morning with Israeli President Reuven Rivlin, who urged the UN leader to continue to fight for Israel at the international body and the bias against it there. Guterres said he would do his best to see that Israel was treated fairly. Guterres met later today with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who told a joint press conference of his concerns and criticisms of the UN. You have clearly demonstrated a desire since uh, you've taken office to turn a new page in the relations between uh, Israel and the UN. This is something I want to, and I look forward to working you towards that uh, joint mission. Uh, there is uh, no question that we've had a troubled relationship with the UN. I think it has a, an absurd obsession with Israel, flagrantly discriminatory tactics. You don't have to be the Israeli Prime Minister to understand that. And I think people of good faith uh, and common sense understand that. Guterres, who visited Yad Vashem, Israel's memorial to the Holocaust, this morning spoke of that visit in his comments and expressed his commitment to Israel's security and his hopes for peace. It was uh, clearly not only an occasion to uh, fully appreciate what was the most horrendous crime against humanity that uh, has been produced uh, in the history of mankind but also to see how much it was linked uh, to uh, forms of uh, persecution and discrimination of the Jewish people for millennia, what we now call anti-Semitism. As Secretary General of the United Nations, I believe it's my duty to be simultaneously an honest broker and a messenger for peace. And to be an honest broker means to be impartial. To be an honest broker means that uh, all countries uh, must be treated equally, both by the Secretary General and the Secretariat that uh, the Secretary General directs. Uh, and this is, for me, very clear, and you can be sure that these values will be upheld. And in a symbolic gesture for peace, Guterres this morning also planted an olive tree in the Jewish National Fund's Grove of Nations in the Jerusalem Forest. The UN leader met with the other Israeli officials later today, and he will meet with Palestinian officials and leaders, including a meet with Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas in Ramallah. He will also travel to the Gaza Strip. The leader of Hamas said that the terror group would negotiate with Israel for the return of the remains of two IDF soldiers, Hadar Golden and Aron Shaul, if Israel first releases some 50 Palestinian prisoners who were rearrested after the Shalit deal. Yahya Sinwa told reporters today that Hamas would negotiate through a mediator immediately if their conditions were met. He also boasted that Hamas had restored relations with Iran and is gearing up for, quote, a battle for the liberation of Palestine. If you recall, in 2011, kidnapped IDF soldier Gilad Shalit was released by Hamas in exchange for 1,027 Palestinian prisoners, 50 of whom have been rearrested by Israel for new terror offenses. Israel's Defense Minister Avigdor Lieberman, who also met with UN leader Guterres today, rejected the Hamas demands as unreasonable, reiterating that those released in the Shalit deal are responsible for the murder of Israelis. Swastikas and other anti-Semitic graffiti were found spray-painted on a high school in Long Island, New York this weekend. Nassau police said the walls, doors and windows in the back of Syosset High School were vandalized early yesterday morning. And last night, in a show of solidarity, hundreds came to the Mid-Island Jewish Community Center for a Break the Hate rally. 
And the West Side Rag reports that a small swastika was found on the doorway of the Methodist Church of St. Paul and St. Andrew in New York City on Wednesday, drawn just underneath a banner hanging there that reads, Hate has no home here which is written in a number of languages, including Hebrew. The church has some shared space with nearby synagogue B'nai Jeshurun. Senior pastor of the church, Reverend Kay Carpin, told the news site we will continue to speak out against hate, hate speech, and anti-Semitism. Well, Jewish organizations are doing their part to help the people of Houston, Texas, after the devastating hurricane that struck Friday. B'nai B'rith International opened its disaster relief fund to provide aid to the victims of Hurricane Harvey. Donations are also being collected by the Jewish Federation of Greater Houston and the Jewish Federations of North America. An Israeli-founded pharmaceutical company is being purchased for just under $12 billion. Gilead Sciences is acquiring Kite Pharma, which was founded by Israeli-American oncologist Ari Beldegrum. Gilead is known for its treatments for HIV and hepatitis. Kite is a leading company in the field of cancer treatments. Gilead CEO John Milligan told the press that they were bringing Kite on board with the goal of leading in cancer-fighting treatments, in particular of lymphoma. American late-night host Conan O'Brien is in Israel this week. Today, the comic met with Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu and visited the Western Wall in Jerusalem's Old City. O'Brien arrived in Israel on Friday. He will be in the country for five days, filming his primetime TV special, Conan Without Borders, Israel. And taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS from Monday, August the 28th at 7 o'clock, it's the wisdom of Dr. Ruth Westheimer at 7.30 an evening in honor of Rabbi Joe Potasnik. At 8, Shalem College's Daniel Gordas talks about his book, Israel, A Concise History of a Nation Reborn, with ADL CEO Jonathan Greenblatt in a program of the Temple Emanuel Skirball Center with the Jewish Week of New York and Hadassah. At 9, Mark Golub sits down with forward editor Jane Eisner on L'Chaim. At 10, it's comic book creator Neil Gaiman speaking at the 92nd Street Y. And coming up right after this newscast tonight at 6.30, Israeli politician Shimon Ochayon addresses the complex issues of Jewish, Israeli, and Arab immigration. And that's the JBS News update for Monday, August the 28th, 2017. I'm Tisha Bader.